Next up we have our story sum. So now I've just made a little note here to show you that you must not write this whole story sum. Don't write all of these words and sentences. And also this is the part where I'm going to write. You shouldn't write there. So let's get started. It says Ben has 10 marbles and he gives 4 marbles to Tim. How many marbles does he have left? Okay, let's see. How many marbles does Ben have? Aha, he has 10. So I'll write it here for you. Then, how many does he give to Tim? Let's see. Oh, it says 4. So that goes here also. And we want to know what? How many marbles he has left? I'll write here for you. This is what I would normally write on the board. Okay. Now, let's think. I want you to close your eyes for a second. I want you to see Ben's 10 marbles in your imagination. And then I want you to see him take four of those and he gives it to Tim. Now you open your eyes. Did Ben's marbles get more or did they get less? Ah, you're right. They did get less because he gave some away. So will we make a plus sum or a minus sum? Minus. Very good because minus means make less. So here are our numbers. So this is what you are going to write in your book. Not all of that, just this. You write the 10. And remember we said he must make less. So you must take away the four marbles that he gave to Tim. And then you write your equal sign. Now you can go and draw the 10 marbles. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And remember I'm taking away four now touch and count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six potatoes? Nope. Six marbles. If I don't write the word, my sum is not finished.